So, you're gonna go into space. You've got your ticket, you're all ready for launch. I should let you know that there are some dangers in space that you might wanna be aware of. And one of them is the extreme temperature that can happen if you're an astronaut out for a spacewalk. What do I mean by extreme temperature? Well, quick little demonstration here. I've got a paper cup with a uh, elephant on it, and I'm gonna put it into the flame of this blowtorch. And you notice what happened. After just a couple of seconds in there, our paper cup caught on fire. Now, astronauts can be exposed to temperatures of up to 150 degrees out in space, and we want to try and keep the astronauts safe. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to show you. I've got another paper cup here. I'm going to put our blowtorch underneath this second paper cup, which I've done something a little bit different to. And as we watch our paper cup burst into, oh no, wait, it's not bursting into flames, because what we've done is we've filled the paper cup with water. Nothing really secretive about this. Water acts, in this case, as an insulator. It's pulling the heat away from the paper cup. Water boils at 100 degrees and starts to release that energy as steam, where the paper cup needs to get much hotter before it bursts into flames. So what we do with astronauts is we give them a layer of water underneath their spacesuits. They're very special uh, long johns, and they carry with them liquid water in little tiny tubes. So when an astronaut's out in space and they're exposed to the extreme cold or the extreme heat, they have a layer of water that acts as protection between that outside temperature and their fragile body. And that water is always circulating, and they have a radiator on their backpack, which allows them to take that water and either cool it or heat it, depending if they're in the sunshine or if they're in the shade. And with that, you're able to spend hours out in space without worrying about boiling or freezing. Now, to learn more about some of the dangers that you might encounter if you went out in space, come on down to the H.R. McMillan Space Center. For The Express, I'm Cam Cronin.